Hey guys, welcome back. So here I am with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about Amazon SNS and SQS. So if you don't know what SNS is, it's basically a managed PubSub services. So if you have some experience in IT, you know what is a PubSub, a publisher and subscription based service. Where basically what you do, one service publishes a message to a, to a thing called topic, topic which is nothing, it's you can consider it as a communication channel some sort of basically a data structure and then there's another service which subscribe to this topic and fetches messages from it so this is the kind of uh, architecture which sns uses a basic use of sns and sqs is basically when you want to decouple your application where you have multiple uh, moving parts in your application and you want to decouple them you use SNS and SQS. Even in AWS, if you have, you must have seen when you create CloudWatch alarms for different services, you basically send those alerts to an SNS topic and uh, the subscriber is your email. So whenever uh, you get an alert, the service sends the alert to the SNS topic. And since your email is subscribed to that uh, topic, you get an email on your uh, mail. So I'll show you how it's done basically. So before that, I'll tell you a little theory about SQS. So SQS is nothing. It's basically a secure and scalable queuing services offered offered by AWS. Uh, it comes in two types. Uh, one is the standard and then the other is FIFO. So here we'll be talking about standard because uh, FIFO is still not compatible with SNS. So I'll be showing you a demo where I'll be using SNS with SQS and FIFO is still not compatible with SNS. So we'll just talk about standard. And the good thing about SQS is it's, it guarantees basically the delivery of message, but the standard queue doesn't uh, offer the guarantee of uh, the order of message. So the messages can be out of order. But with FIFO, they have uh, they've managed to achieve the order as well. And basically, and basically, SQS queue retains the messages up to 14 days. So your messages are retained into uh, an SQS queue for up to 14 days. So you don't lose your messages. So this is just a basic uh, theory about uh, SNS and SQS. So let's just dive into the demo. So you can see I'm on my SNS uh, console. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is going to create a topic. So let's just go and create a topic and I'll name it as um, email topic because I'll be sending an email to my um, mail address. I'll name it email topic. Uh, since SNS is a managed service, it offers you a lot of uh, option, like you can encrypt your topic, uh, there's access policy. So basically you can define, suppose you have multiple services, so you can define which services uh, have access to this topic. Since you have, I mean, when you're working in a production environment, you'll have multiple topics and multiple services. So there you need to define policies to basically restrict access so that one service cannot access another uh, some other topic. Okay, I may be saying a lot of things. I hope you get it. Uh, you can see retry policy. So in case the message message fail, how many time do you want to retry? Uh, then there is a delivery log status as well. You can see where why the delivery has failed. So you can basically log everything over here. And then there are some optional tagging. You can tag your topics. So, so I'm not going to do all this stuff. I'm just going to create a simple topic. And I've created my topic. Next thing what I'm going to do is create a subscription. So you can see this button, create, create subscription. So I'm going to create a subscription for this. And protocol which I'm going to use is an email. So I'm going to use an email and endpoint would be my email address. And I'm going to create subscription. So basically for email and uh, for I think couple of more uh, endpoints, you need to do a confirmation. So AWS has sent a mail on my email address and I, I need to go and confirm that. So I'll be back after confirming that. So I have confirmed uh, the the SNS topic. Uh, so I've I've confirmed that I'm subscribed to this topic. So you can see the status is pending. So if I refresh it, you can see the status confirmed now. 
So you can test everything from SNS console itself. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to create any applications or test it. AWS gives you an, uh, basically a functionality to test SNS from the console itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish some messages. Uh, let's say, hi Tarik, TTL, I don't want to define any TTL and hello world, I am SNS message to so some random text and I'm going to publish it and if everything we've done correct I would be getting an email with this message so I'm going to pause the video and going to check my email so you can see guys I received an email and the text is here hello world I am an SNS message so our subscription is working I pop some so basically I published a message and I subscribe to the topic and I received the message on my email. So this is working. Now let's see the same thing using SQS. So in SQS, uh, I'm going to get started. I'm going to create a standard queue. So nothing fashionable here. Let's go configure queue. So these are all the different timeouts. Basically visibility timeout is one thing which you should keep in mind when you go into associate exam, which is basically the length of time till your message is visible to the consumer. So this is actually, I mean, this definition is important, visibility timeout. So they ask you in associate exam, what is visibility timeout? So you should, you, I mean, you can either Google it or you can just read it from here. The length of time that message received from the queue will be, invisible to the other receiving component apart from that message retention period you can see by default at four days but it can go up to uh, 14 days so you can see from one minute to 14 days uh, you can set uh, maximum message size message size is 256 kb uh, delivery delay is up to 15 minutes so these are not important Basically two things you should keep in mind from here is the retention period, which is up to 14 days from one minute and the visibility timeout. And by default, this 30 seconds. So list everything looks good. My first queue, standard, sent everything set to default. So let's just create queue. And you can see the queue is created, but it, this queue is useless unless we are going to use it for something good, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is add this queue as a subscription to my SNS topic. So I'm going to do queue action and subscribe to queue to SNS topic. Let's just click that. And you can see the topic which we created is listed down here in the drop down. I'm going to select it and subscribe. So for SQS queues, you do not need any confirmation. So if I go to my SNS, we could see it. Email. And you can see this key, this basically this queue is there as, and it's already confirmed. So you don't have to do any kind of confirmation for uh, SQS queues. So like SNS, uh, you can even put messages in the queue from the SQS console itself and also view the messages. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, let's go to queue action again and send a message. And let's put any message like hello from Tariq and just do a send message. Close this and come back to view and delete message. And you start polling this queue. So polling is basically fetch, fetching messages from the queue. So you can see hello from Tariq is there. But now let's do the same thing from our SNS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish, since this queue is a subscriber to SNS, I'm going to publish from the SNS console and we would see those messages over here in the queue. So close this, go to SNS. Topics, select topic, publish, 
SQS message. Hello. And we'll just say hello SQS from SNS. Let's publish. And let's just go back to our SQS again. Select the queue, go to queue action, and let's do a view and delete message and start polling. So you can see we got the message, uh, hello SQS from SNS. So basically, if I show you, you can see the messages here and it has a lot of details. If you want to go through, just click more details and you'll see the type is notification, subject was hello SQS, message was hello SQS from SNS and blah, 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 a lot of information, which is basically not useful. And since we had the, our email also subscribed to that uh, topic probably I would have got this message yes in my email as well so probably you need to remove that subscription before you do that so I've got the hello SQS from SNS so basically this was a small demo using SNS and SQS and how you can uh, in I mean if you talk about uh, real life scenarios probably there'll be uh, multiple applications which would be sending push notifi notifications, uh, text messages and in those kind of use cases basically is where you use SNS and SQS because there are applications which sends like hundreds and thousands of emails every minute and it's not possible to manage that amount of email if you don't have any queuing mechanism and if you don't have thing like SNS. Uh, most of the companies today are using uh, more uh, i mean some better open source solutions like kafka which has which offers basically a high amount of throughput uh, in these kind of scenarios where this is where sns basically is not uh, very scalable it has its limitation and that is why that is where kafka came into picture so but but still you can use sns and sqs in conjunction and i mean for like small application or mid-size application they work completely fine and i mean if you are generating a decent amount of traffic and if you're sending out push notifications and and they're not very large they're not millions or hundred thousands you can use sns and sqs uh, but if your use case is like you require a large amount of throughput and high performance uh, queuing mechanism then probably kafka is something you should look for so i hope you like this video probably if you have any queries regarding SNS and SQS, just put down a comment and I'll cut back to you in less than 24 hours. And subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Let's continue.